you should plan your next remodeling, decorating, or interior design project. And one of the things that I've noticed over the years uh, working with clients is that people tend to plan the things that are more aesthetic. So they start, they kind of goes like this. So, hey, you know, I'm thinking maybe I'll remodel my kitchen. So then you go to house or you go to Pinterest and you start a board and you're watching HGTV and you get like really obsessed with the idea of X, Y, and Z in your house, you know, whether it's white cabinets or, you know, marble countertops, whatever that idea is, you get really caught up in those ideas of the aesthetics of the project and not necessarily thinking about all the other pieces of that before you go to a trade professional to talk about the project. And then what happens is if you aren't working with a professional designer, you have these ideas for your kitchen or your bathroom and maybe you just go to um, a contractor or, you know, a remodeling specialist and you bring them your ideas and then you remodel the kitchen or the bathroom or, you know, take down a wall or whatever and then the space doesn't really function like you thought it was going to. It doesn't really feel like you thought it was going to. And so those are two things that I think are really important to think about as you are starting a project is, and it's what I talk to clients about when we have our first couple of interactions. So I always do a phone call and on that phone call I say, talk to me about how you want your space to feel and how you want to feel when you're using the space. And so those are two really important things and I usually coach people and say, you know, don't tell me about I want white cabinets or I want um, you know marble countertops I want you to tell me about when you are using the space how does that make you feel then the second part of the design process is when I get in your home and I am assessing the space and then I start to talk to you about how do you want to use this space or how do you use it now what do you like about the things that are here already what do you hate about it let's don't do those things um, and then we talk about um, what do you you know want to see in your space and then we start to get more into the aesthetics and in fact most of the time I do share a Pinterest board with my clients um, to get an idea of that aesthetic because people you know layman's words you know I, I want something that looks modern and clean and that modern clean to you may not be modern modern clean to me may not have the same meaning um, but beyond that, so I wrote a blog post a while back about planning your remodeling projects and why it's so important to do that, to have a plan, because I feel like a lot of people get to the point where they're ready to hire someone and they really haven't thought through some of those things. Um, and so I want to encourage you that when you have your next remodeling project that you should spend some time in the planning phase of that. And so I have some recommendations and these are in the blog. So if you wanna do a little deeper dive and get some more detailed information, the link to the blog post is below. If you're watching this on IGTV, then you're gonna to go to the link in my bio that says blog. You can just use the search field and say plan and the blog will pop up. Um, so here are three things that are important when you're planning and you're going to read more in depth about these in the blog and that is know your big why so if you understand why you are remodeling are you remodeling because your kitchen's not functional your bathroom's not functional or are you remodeling simply because it doesn't look good do you not even know some of the really amazing things that can be done to improve the function of your bathroom? Maybe you haven't even thought about that. So spending some time in that mode of 
let me think about using my bathroom every day and the things I like and don't like about it and jotting those down. One of my big recommendations is to put a notebook in the room that you're planning on remodeling or redecorating and jotting down for about a month um, as you're using the space. And if it's a space you don't use very often, then a little bit longer than a month. My second recommendation is to do your non-negotiable. So what are the things that you absolutely have to have in this remodeling project? You know, do you want those multi, a multi-head spa shower? Do you want a marble countertop in your bathroom? You, you know, do you really, really want to focus on, you know, living in place concepts and implementing those things in your space? Do you even know what those could be and what those potentials are? So spend some time thinking about what you want and what you're looking for. And then the third thing is creating a project budget. And one of the, you know, biggest um, things that I see, and I'm, I'm on house, and I do get um, clients from that source, and they ask a lot of those questions, and I ask the questions too, you know, what is your budget? And um, on house, they actually allow people to put, I'm not sure, which I can understand why, some people aren't sure because it's they've never remodeled. They don't have any idea how much a remodeling project can cost. Maybe that's what the issue is. They don't know the cost of things. Um, or you're not sure because you haven't looked at your own finances to figure out how much you can invest in a project. Because most people in their minds, they think, I'm not going to spend any more than this. So that really is important to know. And it's important to do the research. So go out online, see how much things cost. If you say, oh, I really want, you know, X, Y, and Z, and you know what those negotiables are in your remodeling projects, go out, see how much that is. You know, labor costs, there are tons of websites that can give you some insight into how much different um, professionals charge in different parts of the country. I can tell you, you know, in Orlando, going rate right for an electrician is probably $100, $225 an hour. Same for a plumber. And, you know, you can kind of figure if you're remodeling a bathroom, it's going to probably be pretty heavy on the electrical and plumbing work. And, and in some cases, you'll probably need somebody who's an HVAC professional to do ventilation in your bathroom and in your kitchen as well. Sometimes uh, people, other people can do that work. Um, but, you know, if you need some new um, new ventilation run or you need something moved, so if your air, AC vent's in the way of something that you want to do in your bathroom, you're going to need to move that. So um, it, it really all depends. And, you know, finding out how much general contractors charge for different things um that's really important I, of course i always recommend that you use licensed contractors um that's really important and um check out the blog if you want more information on uh what is involved in planning a project and um starting tomorrow let's see i have it all written down here Starting tomorrow, I am myth busting. So for those of you who are retirement aged and you're thinking about that and you want to do some remodeling projects, which you're like, I don't want my house to look like an old person lives here. This, these three videos, so tomorrow night on Thursday, next Tuesday, and next Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to be talking about myth busting. And I really want you to to be there if you're already thinking these things. So um, have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow night, seven o'clock, uh, live on Facebook. Oh, apparently YouTube requires you to have some approval to do live videos. So I'm not live on YouTube yet. I will be soon. And then I will be posting these videos on IGTV the day after I do them because it's seven o'clock at night. I'm kind of done after I do this. So have a good evening. See you tomorrow.